a GTA position offers you the flexibility to complete a PhD at the same time as, as actually gaining teaching experience, which can be quite rare these days. Posts for funded PhDs are either one way or the other in the sense that you, you're funded to do your research but there's no teaching on offer. So being in a, a GTA offers you that flexible ability to be able to um, consider both sort of career options afterwards. When, once you've actually completed your PhD, you still have that option to go into teaching too at the same time. So there's sort of, there's double advantages really in, in that flexibility of those two things that you get from the role. I've got an undergraduate degree and a master's degree, but not a lot of experience in a workplace. So this GTA aspect means that I can gain hands-on experience within academia. So that when I leave from my PhD, I've actually got some experience in teaching and working with students as well. Well, I've come to know that some, G or some PhDs, you do it completely unfunded or you fund yourself, which I couldn't imagine doing. And so having a financial backing while pursuing your studies offers you just, I mean, being comfortable, being uh, independent and doing what you need to do. And the teaching side of it, I think it develops your skills as a teacher if you want to go and do a, be a lecturer afterwards. And it also develops your public speaking skills for doing the necessary academic skill sets of attending conferences, discussing your research, and doing anything else that really revolves around um, talking. I think the GTA is a unique um, position within the university. It's like you're killing two birds with one stone. You're gaining your research experience and your teaching experience at the same time. So in this case, we're studying for our PhDs and we're also getting paid. So I think it is a very great opportunity. I came to Edge Hill already with a little bit of teaching experience, but that was something that I really wanted to build on. Um, I feel that I've really been integrated into my teaching team and they treat me as a member of the team, which is nice. Um, and the support that we've been given is really good. So you sort of start off sort of observing and doing half of sessions, things like that, and then um, sort of building up to taking them on your own. Um, and I've been put on a module that is sort of within my area. So I came to Edge Hill having done an MRes, so I was um, allowed to sort of teach on the um, research methods module. Also, whilst um, I've been at Edge Hill, I've been given the opportunity to study for a PG cert in higher education. So I've now got that qualification and I feel that that's something that's really going to sort of benefit me in the future. And it's been nice that I can do it alongside sort of my teaching and my PhD. So that's something that I've really benefited, I think, from being able to do.